What's up everyone? Today we're going to be solving leak code number 257 where the input is a tree like this and all they give us is a root node and they want all the paths that go down. Now this is a pretty simple problem but it teaches us very something very important is when we're passing in a string to each method it gets its own copy versus passing in a data structure where that data structure is the one that's shared among all the recursive stack calls. Now, this is a very important problem because I've seen a lot of different problems that can be solved using this sort of method or at least getting the individual paths down and whatever the inter interviewer wants to know that can be answered, this would be a good way to at least approach. Now what they want is a list of strings, so let's write that so list of strings result is new array list now this solution is actually the solution from the leak code um, solution tab so that's where I got it from and uh, I'm gonna be pretty much solving in the same way now what I'm going to do is call a method called recur, pass in result res, then pass in an empty string. This is going to be what we start with. Basically, that's saying that before the root, there's nothing else. And um, we're going to pass in the root. And this is going to be another method, and we're going to return res right here. It's going to go right there. Now, this is going to be a void method since all it's going to do is iterate over each one of these nodes and track state. Now, of course, uh, most binary is if the root is null, we're going to return. This is the recur from there. Um, now, if it's not null, we're going to add the value of the root to the string. So s is going to get appended with integer dot. I think it's value of. I might be wrong on that. You have to check the code. I'm just doing this off the top of my head and <clears throat> root dot val I think it's or to string yeah because we're converting it to string to string integer dot to string it's gonna be that one and if we're if the left and the right child are null then we can pretty much return at this point If the left, <clears throat> if there exists even one of them which is not null, then what we're going to do is recursively call that each one. So it's going to be recur um, res comma s comma root dot left and recur res s root dot right. Now, let's say what happens here, right? On one, the string one gets added, and that string s gets passed to each one of these because uh, but it has a left and right child, so it's not gonna return right now. What, what this recursive function is gonna get is a copy of a string which has the word one in it. So both of them have that. And when it goes here, and this one goes here, I, uh, the, the functions get called recursively. So at the end of it, what's going to happen is if when it goes to 2, the left is going to be null, so it's going to automatically return. And 2's right is not null, so it's going to go down. But 2's right, which is 5, doesn't have a left or right, so it's going to get returned after getting appended to the string. Um, the other thing we have to do is not just return it right here, but also add res.addS, and then we return. 
yeah. That's why it usually helps just to think through what you're doing so you understand when you're explaining. Yeah, and that's pretty much how you solve 257.